This program is made possible by Mason's Wallet and patrons like you. Thank you. Hey guys, so I'm back with another PSP tutorial video. Last time I showed off how to get to the newest Sony official firmware for the PSP system. And if you haven't seen that already, you're going to need to watch that to follow along with this next tutorial, which is how to install custom firmware. It's kind of like this. Oh, yo, what's up? I didn't see you. I was just being sick AF. Us cool kids are over here installing sick custom mods onto our PlayStation portables or PSPs. Tutorials are for chumps and that's why Code Monkey back there is going to take over from you. Today I'm going to show you how to update your PSP to 6.61 Infinity Pro custom firmware. To do this, you're going to want to have your PSP already at 6.61. I do have a tutorial on how to do that, so make sure to check that out if you don't know how to already. You're going to want to go ahead and download some files I have linked in the description. Once you're there, go ahead and hook up your PSP to your computer. First thing we're going to do is drag SE plugins into here, and I already have it here, so I will hit skip, but you'd want to overwrite it. Next, we're going to want to go into our PSP and our game folder and drag these files all the way into here and this is going to help us build our firmware for infinity pro and now i can go ahead and just meet you at the psp now before we jump into any of the infinity firmware stuff we actually have another step we need to do before if you go to your memory stick under the game tab we're going to want to navigate all the way down to the pro update and go ahead and run that once it pops up go ahead and hit x to start it then it'll ask you to hit X again to start the custom firmware. Once you've done that, it'll reboot. And if you want, I can go ahead and show you we are on 6.61 Pro-C now. Essentially what that means is that we're gonna be able to run the Infinity software. So let's make our way back to the memory stick under the game tab, and we're gonna go ahead and run 6.61 Infinity Firmware Builder. What this is doing is it's building a hybrid of 6.61 and 6.31 and it's creating a file for us that we're going to be able to use to actually install the firmware. So once this is finished, you're going to want to go ahead and take your PSP back to your computer and we're going to grab a file. Now what that process just did is it created a file right here and what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to take it and move it all the way into our flasher. So go ahead and just drag and drop it in there and then I'm going to get rid of it here. And now we can go back to our system. Now we're going to be able to run the 6.61 Infinity Firmware Flasher. So go ahead and agree to the terms of it and hit accept. Once it's done, it's going to reboot and probably is going to crash, which is totally fine. Just hit some buttons and it'll get out of it. And then we can move on to the next step. And the next step is actually setting up your PSP like you just got it. So you're going to want to select your time zone. You're going to want to enter your name and all that stuff. Now, what all that has done for us is it's installed version 6.61 Infinity, but we're not done yet. We're gonna wanna make our way all the way back over to the Pro again and go ahead and run that. Again, hit X and hit X again, and Pro will be done and installed. And if we check our firmware now, it'll look even different. It'll say 6.61 Pro C Infinity. Now, there's just one step left. We wanna to go to our Infinity Bootloader Configuration. What that's gonna do is it's gonna let us to make sure that that Pro C is always working. There is another version of Infinity that doesn't use Pro, but we wanna make sure that Infinity knows that it's gonna be using Pro all the time. So once you're Infinity, you just move to the side, select Pro Custom Firmware, and that's all. You can just hit the home button and exit out if you want. So now, even if you do a hard reboot, which I just did, we can go ahead and we can get into our settings. And let me go ahead and navigate over. And whenever we pull it up and we check, you're gonna see 6.61 Pro-C Infinity. And you're not gonna need to do anything else anytime you boot up the system. You don't have to run the firmware over and over. It's permanent. And it's fantastic. And you know what? You're fantastic. Once I installed the Infinity firmware, I couldn't go back. There's not a point. Everything else doesn't mean anything. Infinity firmware will change your gaming experience. All right. I, I, Greg over there, he doesn't know what's good. Greg, you can die. I hate you. This is what's up. 